So how did it feel, Serena? Go ahead, over there. I was just say, did that feel more like uh, business as usual? <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are crazy. Um, <laughs> no, I'm getting there. I have a long way to go. I have such a long way to go. It definitely felt better than the first round, but I mean, I'm still um, a little rusty. I'm still making errors that I don't normally make. But I call this a trial run, you know, I didn't, even with a baby, like a trial run with traveling with a baby and traveling, like all this is like just so new to me. So um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm getting there. You find yourself being kinder to yourself out there when you're making mistakes or things you wouldn't normally do? I definitely do. I um, Olympia has tons of footage of me not being kind to myself. So I am um, like, okay, I need to, not be so negative, even though it's hard. Um, and yeah, I've come so far. There's moments where I'm literally in the hospital bed, and I just think about that. And I'm like, you know what, Serena, you are doing good. You're doing good no matter what. So I think that's helping me out, too. Talk a little bit about that first set tiebreak and the emotion you went through. Um, <clears throat> It's always good to get a tiebreak win, especially the first set under your belt. And she was playing well. She played really well in that first set. She was ahead. Um, and that was also really good because being able to come back, um, you know, and feel that rush of, okay, I'm down, I'm down, but I'm still fighting to be able to come back was also, I think, really important. Is it crazy to think that only two matches into your return, you get to play your sister. You feel it's a bit too soon for that. Definitely, I, you know, she's had such a good year last year and playing fantastic tennis, but <clears throat> I have to play a seed regardless, sooner than later, most times for the next couple of tournaments. Um, so, uh, so I have to be ready, you know, and whether it's Venus or anyone else, it's gonna be someone, so. Obviously, I wish it was anybody else in the draw, literally anybody, but um, that's okay. I just have to just go out there and see how I am and do my best. Does it really matter, the, uh, Serena, whether it's third round or a final? Because this is the earliest you're gonna be facing one another since that first match that you played at the Australian Open 20 years ago. Oh, really? Second round in Melbourne. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's um. So what was your, what was the question? But does it really matter if it's like oh. third round or final or semi? Absolutely, I think it's a huge difference a player in the semifinals or even the quarterfinals, um, or a final as opposed to the third round. Um, you know, we can al always stay in the tournament longer if you know the both of us are in the tournament and having to play each other in the third round, one of us is going to be gone. So that's uh, it's definitely a lot easier to play later on. Serena, I know the match never happened 17 years ago, but it's been a long, long time, obviously. Does it seem strange that this match uh, has never happened? Oh, really? The match you guys supposed to play was, what, 01, I guess, here? Oh, wow. Um, I literally didn't even think about it. You know, that's, you know, totally gone out of my mind. Um, first of all, 17 years ago seems like forever ago. Yikes. But yeah, so that's good. It's, you know, again, I wish it were a little bit later, but I'm just happy to still be in the tournament at this point. And so much water under the bridge, but are, are you happy that the match finally does take place here and gets to happen? I honestly never thought about it. Um, so again, I would prefer to play someone else, anybody else, literally anybody else. <laughs> but um, it has to happen now, so that it is what it is. Evening-wise, what are your plans for the answers to come? Are you make, going to make many changes compared to before? Do you want a lighter schedule even or for the play? Have you already decided? I don't know. I am. I have a really light schedule already. So um, <clears throat> obviously, I want to work on getting my ranking to where I can, you know, just be feel good about my ranking. <laughs> um, but I don't know how much lighter I can go. I don't really play a lot. I just, I usually play tournaments and I try to do really good in those tournaments so I don't have to play every week. Um, and it's different, you know, traveling with a kid and um, I definitely want to spend as much time as I can with her. Um, so my priorities are different.
You said uh, after your first match that uh, you missed the baby so much and almost cried before you went yeah. out there. How about tonight? Was it the I'm same doing thing? much better today. Like I, I left pretty early. I left like around 11, and it's six o'clock. Um, so, and I haven't come close to tears today, so that's good. Um, I definitely miss her. Uh, I might start coming to press on time now because <laughs> I, all I can think about is wanting to get back as fast as I can. So. Considering I was doing, I'm doing pretty good today on t my time wise, so it all helps out. You talked about 17 years ago, but you've been in this game for a good while. Could you just comment on how you think the, the game of tennis has changed the most, the one or two ways that the sport has changed over the years you've been in the game? Wow. Um, I feel like, you know, obviously the game is faster, the players are much faster in terms of running. Um, a lot of the players hit harder. Uh, the quality has gone up so much. Um, but, you know, it's uh, a lot of, I think a lot more camaraderie on the tour as well. Um, it's just fun times. You just touched on the ranking aspect and then obviously a lighter schedule. So what are your thoughts as far as ranking targets and by what time or date or whatever? that you might have in your mind? I have a lot of goals. Um, I don't usually talk about them though, but I definitely have some set and some targets in my mind that I want to reach and they'll be fun. It'll be fun to reach those. Serena, what have you missed most from the tour while you've been away? Uh, um, I don't know, I love competing. You know, I love going out there and and doing what I think I do best. And I think that's what I missed most was just competing. Serena, in your book on the line, you talked about notebooks and how you entries. What type of entry would you make for them? So um, the notes were just things that I would want to do on the court, like, uh, you know, just tips that I would tell myself to, to do on the tennis court. So um, it wasn't necessarily after, although that's a really good idea. I should keep things after, so I wouldn't know how to, um, what I would want to improve on, but I never really did that. Could you talk about the first time you ever played Venus, if you could recall that? And also, is was there a, a favorite match you can recall playing against Venus? Uh, I think the first time I played her, you guys weren't there. It was somewhere in Compton. Although, that's not true, it was, um, well, you weren't there, that's true, but <laughs> it was it was in juniors. <laughs> and I would think I was like eight. She was 10, or yeah. And uh, that was the first time we played. She beat me, beat me good, but she was really nice. Um, that's the time she gave you the trophy? Yeah, she gave me the trophy because I was so upset. I've always been a sore loser, but she's always been amazing. I can really learn from her, so. Um, and obviously the first time professional, I think, was at Australia, was that? Yeah, I think, was in, uh, yeah, and I thought I played well, like, I remember, you know, playing well in the first set and not doing so well in the second, but overall, I think I played really well, so we have so many great memories. My favorite match against her, um, I don't think I have a favorite match. I definitely don't have a favorite match. I really abhor every time we play, but I do enjoy the battle when I'm out there. It's just afterwards, I don't like it as much. Serena, you got told us that you've been very supportive to her with what she's going through, and I just want to know what was your reaction when you saw that she actually won after you had won that match. I was really happy for her. She actually texted me right after a match, and she said congrats to me, and I was really happy for her too. Um, and you know she's she's doing so well. She's going through so much, and she's so positive, and you know she's just a, she has this great energy about her, and I, I just love that. Serena, when you walk out onto the court for these first two matches, the announcers say, welcome home, Serena. It's something that the sideline reporters have said to you and your sister and fans have yelled from, from the stands. Do you feel at home here? Does this feel like home? How does it feel to you to play at Indian Wells? I have so many um, friends that come here, so it definitely has more of a homey feeling. Um, I, you know, I, I love that. I love that reception that I get, and I love the welcome home. Um, I'm from Southern California, not this far south, but pretty far south, but yeah. Okay, last couple of questions. Back to back. Yeah. 
Serena, um, can you talk a little bit about the ball boys and the volunteers and how important they are for a player? Because I always hear at the end of the tournament players saying, ball boys were great. So I wonder, are there any ball boys that, that really suck? Are there any tournaments <laughs> where the ball boys suck and the volunteers suck? So can you just talk a little bit about ball boys and volunteers and how important they are for the tournament and for the players themselves? Yeah, well, um, I think the ball kids, they do really, really good. Um, I can't say any of them are really bad. I mean, they're kids, you know, like, no, they're, they all do so well. And sometimes they get nervous and you gotta, you have to think like, these are uh, kids that a lot of them play tennis and a lot of them are out here to watch, and they have this op such amazing opportunity to be with their idols and people that they've grown up just really watching and now they're there out center court. Um, so, yeah, and the volunteers are great too because they're volunteering their time to sit in the locker rooms or to you know help with security, and so it's 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 really amazing how things are run. Have you ever been a ball camp, even if not in a big tournament, even for Venus in a practice or something? Um, I don't think so in a tournament. I've, I mean, I've been a ball kid in practice a zillion times over, but. Um, I was a ball kid a lot when I was pregnant, so. Mm -hmm. But I, um, yeah, I don't think so. I was ever a ball kid. I think Black How much of, of Venus's matches last year, did, how many did you actually get to watch closely and call her successes? Also, what did you think about the way she's playing now versus when she was younger? Uh, I didn't watch a single match of hers, and um, I think she's playing great compared to when she was younger. I think she played great to when she was younger um, but I think she's playing great now too obviously she's a lot better now a lot 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 better but uh, you know she's just always been really someone that I've admired both on the court and off the court why did you not watch the matches because it's I can't I get too nervous and you know I never lost a match sitting down so if she makes a mistake I just like I, I just a little bit of me dies so yeah I didn't watch any Thank you.